Hello and welcome to another episode of Top Deck, the series where we take a look at some of the leading TCG deck lists and on today we have a top 4 list from Matthew Price. Hello. How are you doing? Not terrible. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> so you walked away from the UK slash Ireland slash apparently global um, extravaganza with third place I believe, right? Playing yeah, third Code place. Talkers. Um, what what inspired you to play Code Talkers? Um, at first, it was a bit of a a bit of a joke. Um, I did reasonably well with it on the Saturday in some winner match, and I thought, you know, I'll give it a shot because it seems pretty good. Yep. Um, and it ended up just completely over it, overdoing itself. Okay. Um, so you so what? You don't think that you should be in top four? <laughs> um, it doesn't. It doesn't feel like. It doesn't look <laughs> right with the rest of the top cut. <laughs> oh well, yeah. I guess we'll see the. I'll see that. I haven't seen it all yet, but we'll see it in the next few days. Uh, I'm sure. Um, right. So let's actually dive into your list then. So Code Talkers is a deck that has not been very popular, um, and I just want to quickly cover a few things. So a big part of the strategy with the deck is you're going to link with some of the cards you in your hand. Um, you're going to make loads and loads of link summons, resolving the effect of Synet Codec, which is not once per turn, to add a bunch of different monsters with different attributes, I believe, right? Yeah, that's how the deck functions. Codec's basically your... Oh, what can I compare it to? Like, you're Nadia Servant of the deck, but, like, ten times more yeah, broken. It, it resolves, like... Uh, six times or something instead of like once. Yeah, it's it's ridiculous. <laughs> um, yeah. So if we if we go card by card, we look at some of the starters. So you got starters in the form of things like uh, Lady Debug, um, which is super solid. You got Cyanet Mining, which is a solid starter. Most of the other cards, I'm I'm not sure they're necessarily starters, but any almost any two card combo gets you gets you going right. Yeah, so all of the one-off sideburst monsters you see uh, in the middle, they all sort of... Obviously, they're all searchable off Cyanet Codec, which is why you only need one. Mm. But most of them in your hand are just free bodies anyway. Yeah. So they sort of start the combo by themselves as well, which yeah. really helps. Yeah, that's cool. And have you got double of every attribute? I'm just having a look. So you, um, so you can like get four man skipper or lady debug as a light. Yeah, there's, there's always an alternative option. Yeah, because I don't want to ever miss a codex search. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay. Um, so if we just run through, you got three debug, three link slayer, three ash. Uh, ash is your only hand trap, right? Oh no, sorry, um, draw, ash, ash and draw. Troll. Yeah. Um, how did you feel about the hand trap choice? Um, well, obviously, if you, if you look at the deck just in retrospective, the space is very limited. Um, so I wanted to play the most high impact hand trap I could against m the majority of the meta, and I thought draw was uh, the best for that, and it, it really outdid itself. Yep. Um, and then Ash is just it's the most generic in extravaganza setting. You're gonna see so much rogue. Yeah. Uh, it hurts prank kids a lot, which is surprising. One one of my hardest matchups. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Well, double rogue Eki is gonna hurt any deck that is uh. So it, it definitely but... does. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Um, okay, so then you got the two parallel exceed, which is just two names, right? You never make a rank. You can't make rank force because there's no. Nah, no there, there are rank force oi versus, but they're not good. They're though. not worth it. <laughs> no. uh, then you got three microcoder. So microcoder is great. It's one of these ones you can link with from your hand, but it also gets to search for a cyanide spell or trap, so you can search your codec. Yeah, that search and just the fact you can link it from hand for free. It's one of the best cards in the deck. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. Even if you do have Codec, you've got other options. Uh, you can add the Sonic Conflict, which is like Crescendo, but even better because they can't use the card. Um, or a card effects with the same name, which is crazy. For the next two turns. Yeah. That, that actually came off. That's uh, mental. Against Tri Brigade. <laughs> yeah. Um, can you search the mining as well? You can. You can right? search Sonic Mining off Microcoder. I did yeah. it once, um, and it. it Sometimes it's necessary, mm. but the option's always there. Yeah, and and the other one you get is optimization, which I think is basically double summon, right? Yeah. So this was a very last minute addition. Um, I wasn't planning it initially, um, and I stumbled across some 
really interesting tech where you can so a lot of the time you have a blade in your hand but there's no way to get it out of your hand until you make firewall dragon or inverted mm. code token yeah but just having optimization lets you just normal summon it get it in the grave give it to them uh, under nibiru range so it protects you a lot yeah that's very cool and the armadies effect comes up quite often as well against like shit all yeah yeah sure okay that's pretty cool um right let's go back to the monsters and so you've you've got the triple ibli um this is a key part of the combo because you're gonna you link and then give them an ibli and yeah. then they can't even attack you because you either have sanctuary which uh makes your guy zero in damage step or you can just bounce right because you you normally have fire yeah only. so the, the theory is you've you, you link them with ibli and sanctuary and mm. um, they can't crash the ibli because sanctuary makes your monster zero mm. um and because Firewalker will be co-linked twice, you bounce their normal summon, mm -hmm. and then you bounce back like a, a debuff or a formal skipper for next time, and then yeah. you kill them with access to code. Yeah, that's really cool. Okay. Um, right, the other names, so the other targets for your Sonic codec are the formal skipper, which gets to search the parallelic seed, um, the dartscaper, which gets to summon itself twice, plus you can send it off the code generator, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Um, Cybers, Cybers Converter, it's just, a, it's just a special summon, right? Yeah, it's just a special summon. Um, it's mainly because it's level 2. Uh, okay. So it fits the requirements of a Torque Bat Lancer, which I mean, it's searchable off Lady Debug. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's cool. Um, Link Infrafly is also basically just a special summon to a Link Zone. Uh, see, Archiver is another just special summon. <laughs> like, all the special summons. <laughs> Um, code generator is another one of these ones you can link with from your hands to make a code talker and then get against that send we've already mentioned. Um, Mathmex Sigma is pretty cool. Um, yeah, Sigma was an interesting one. Um, yeah. I was, I've been playing it for the longest time. It helps you extend a lot because a lot of the time if you're normal someone gets um, interrupted. Mm -hmm. Like uh, if you get gammaed on your Lady Day book or you get bounced or something by a compulse. Um, Sigma just lets you get that body on board. It's the same reason why I'm playing 3 Lake Slayer. Yeah. Uh, except Sigma's searchable with Sign Up Mining. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, and then you got the Scripton, which is, again, an another summon, but also returns one of your banished Cyber yeah. Monsters, right? So I had to, I think it was in round five, I had to banish my own access code from the graveyard just to put it back and summon it again. <laughs> wow. It was, it was brilliant. Oh, uh, that's so mental. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, very cool. Um, okay. Uh, and then the last monster is the Gacheri Atignista, which makes your guy impervious to card effects for two turns, was it? Two turns, yeah. It's, yeah. it's such a welcome addition to the deck. That's so crazy. Uh, right, and then we've got the codec, um, the conflict, mining, uh, three cyclone you opted for as your, your choice of spell and trap removal. I guess you don't, you never fear Lance, you're right, in this deck, so. It's no, I don't. It's not an issue. You, you don't you don't balance your against this deck and cosmic really it deals with a lot of this deck's issues mm. to where uh winder kills the deck so this deals with skizzle you can hit the pandemonium in the standby phase it deals with all floodgates as well yeah yeah for sure cool um and then the only other card we haven't mentioned is called by the grave which is you know pretty obvious you don't want to lose to like droll yeah, or whatever you don't want to get droll a lot birded so we play the cool boy <laughs> yeah exactly uh, 42, anything that you could cut or would want to cut? Um, it was 40 cards up until this morning. Um, I was playing without the optimization and without the third mining. Mm. Um, because obviously you can search the mining and a lot, you've got so many starters that sometimes it's not necessary. Mm -hmm. But I just thought the consistency and the added fact of being able to additional normal the ability for Nibiru was yeah. better. Yeah. Um, you could cut Call by the Grave. Um, you could reduce Cyclone to two. Um, I just felt like I really wanted the cards to play with. Yeah. Yeah, sure. And yeah, you're not like, I mean, nah. you're just you're just adding more consistency to the other version of the build, right? That's yeah. all you already do. Yeah, the deck's as consistent as anything already. So. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. It's not the worst thing in the world. Cool. Okay. Um, jumping onto the extra deck, you got two bail. I'm pretty sure you need the second bail, right? Because sometimes it's your first link summon. Um, it's very rare that it happens, but it can. Mm. Um, but you play two more so the fact that it is just a link one you can make for free. Mm. Um, and you have bay links to protect the bay links in grave on the end board, which uh, comes up quite a lot against big normal summons. Yep. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, and then Ling Rebo is the other 
Oh, okay, you've got two more. So, L Link Rebo is one of the <laughs> other. Link Rebo is more generic Link one. Um, it puts so much pressure. Pr pr words. Pressure <laughs> against back row. Yeah. Yeah, because they're ne gonna need something good. Otherwise, they need two things in order to beat you yeah. just like, as soon as you normal summon. It's pretty wild. Um, and then you've got the Talkback Lancer, which gets to help you bring back one of your Code Talkers, right? Yeah, it's a key part of the combo. You bring back Transcode most of the time off it um, to complete the extra leg. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then loads of Code Talkers. So, normal Code Talker, Code Talker Inverted, which lets you special summon one from your hand, which is pretty cool. Um, and you can do the very cool thing of um, you can summon this codex search one and then summon that off the inverted right as long as you had another yeah, side you've got another cybers in hand it's yeah. literally emergency teleport you can summon anything from your deck that's yeah. live imagine emergency teleport in your extra deck <laughs> <laughs> wow um okay and then two splash mage because it turns link two into a link three basically right yeah um and it means that i was playing one um, but the second comes up so much because it means that you only need two monsters to recover instead of three for transcode. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay. Um, update jammer lets you OTK people a lot more quickly, which is cool. Yeah. Um, two transcode talker. Do you, do you feel like you needed the second one? Um, yeah, it comes up so much. It's it's the same theory. Splash mage. You recover a lot more. Um, and a lot of times that happened, my transco got striked, he got Ice Dragon's Prison, he got hit with every trap you could possibly imagine. Yeah. So it comes up a lot. Okay. Um, and then Xcode is part of the combo? Yep, yeah, uh, grabs you your Parallel Exceed off your codec and it yeah. uh, gives card effect protection. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Um, and then shooting, such as for the uh, C Archiver, right? Or, or Scripton? Or the Scripton. Um, it's also got a really niche battle effect. Um, it gains an attack, f uh, additional attack for every monster it points to. And yeah. every time it destroys a monster, you get to draw a card at the end of the battle phase. <laughs> yeah. It's meant so to... you just end up drawing two or three cards for completely free. Yeah, that's really cool. Um, okay, and then you got the access code, which is not only is it access code talker, but it is also a code talker. So <laughs> it's always good. <laughs> um, and, and then the firewall, which uh, we've already mentioned. Firewall yeah. is mental. Firewall helps this deck drastically. It, it does so much. It summons from hand, it gives you recursion. Um, I'm really glad that they brought it back. Yeah, and it means you have an actual disrupt during the opponent's turn. Yeah, that's what this deck was really lacking. Um, but now, now it's not. <laughs> yeah. Uh, side deck, you got the triple nib, triple lance here for the hand traps. Uh, were you happy with these, these six? Yeah, um, I didn't really need low impact hand traps. I just needed stuff that ended turns. Mm. Um, I had to respect Tri Brigade um, and some virtual world players are still about, so Lancia was good. Yeah. Uh, Nibiru just for any insert combo deck here that yeah. I don't want to lose to. And the free body for next turn really does come in handy as well. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, a lot of your guys aren't restricted to Cybers, right? It's just... So, well, some of them um, aren't restricted to Cybers, like Transcode uh, is so restricted. So generally make Code Talker or Transcode Talker with the Nibiru. Yeah. So you, sometimes you don't even need your normal summon if you have it, uh, and that's really cool. Yeah, that's quite nice. Um, and then I guess it's uh, similar with Dark World No More, you know, if they put up loads of monster in the game, so you just yeah. it's, break the board. Sometimes you can play through boards, but if they have a, a board that's too big, you, there's not much you can do. Yeah. They really came in handy today. Sure. Um, similar with Raigeki. I'm probably going to get slated for the Raigeki. It's the 15th card. Okay. Um, but um, it actually came up once. Yeah. And it cleared a double Dragon Lords, and that was amazing. That's the job. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Uh, for back row removal, we got the one Duster and three Evenly. Yeah. Um, you happy with those? You didn't want, like, I guess you've got the Quick Play in, in Cosmic anyway, so you don't need, like, more Quick Plays. Um, so for some alternatives, you could play Twin, but the Discard does hurt this deck, unless yeah. you specifically open Dotscape or C Archiver. Yeah. Um, and. I cannot afford Lightning Storm. <laughs> yeah. So it's the next one. Next, uh, <laughs> next topic. Sure. Um, and then, of course, Red Reboot, which is just busted against all the trap decks. Yeah, you activate it, you just summon access codes, you punch them. Yeah, it's free. It just makes <laughs> makes everything free, which is quite cool. <laughs> well, what's the siding pattern like? Do you just take out hand traps and 
Cosmic Cyclones, or, or is that... The, the side impact of this deck is really cool, actually. Uh, so going second, you take out uh, the Salaman Great Sanctuary and two copies of Ibli. Mm -hmm. um, so you still have one, uh, because it, it does come up where you need to search one sometimes going second. Mm -hmm. But you're not as reliant on it going second, and the Sanctuary is just a brick, um, unless you go first. Yep. So that lets you side in any three of a single card. And then you can take out um, Astral, Cosmic, or whatever's not very good in that matchup. Yeah, yeah, that's quite cool. Um, and have you got any shout-outs you're going to make? Um, a few, yeah. Um, shout-out to the Lois boys, as usual. They're on the channel a lot. Um, shout-out to Owen Wilson for making me play Scripton over Code Radiator, because it came up a lot. Um, and shout-out to Ninja Cake Cards um, on Card Market. Thanks for, cool. Thanks for coming on, for showing us your list. Congratulations on your top spots, and uh, you. hopefully we'll see a lot more from you in the future. Absolutely, I'm looking forward to it.